What a beautiful view. Hey, good people. Hey, I wanted to mention something quick. It popped in my head and I'm, I, I gotta get it out there because it's so important. Um, at least if you have a business or you wanna start a business or you know someone that has a business. And as you know, I say all the time that, you know, the best way to really get your message out into the world, to really contribute to the world and to make, actually become wealthy is to have a business or several businesses. But the thing I wanna mention is that there's only three ways to grow a business. That's it. So it's very simple, actually, just three ways. Number one, well, first of all, it's, you know, you got a business, right? And so a business is, some, is, a, is an entity that provides goods, products, services to people to help benefit their lives. That's a business. That's a good business. And the products, goods, and services you can offer are literally infinite. As long as there's a demand, people that want it. So there's only three ways to grow a business. Number one, get more clients. Duh, right? Duh. Get new clients. Get more new clients. That's number one. Number two is to increase the size of transaction. What do I mean? Increase the size of each purchase. So, in business, it's, it's very funny, and in life, you know, the universe and business work on this, this law of averages. And in a business, <clears throat> across the board, you'll see an average transaction size, size. So that means each person that comes into your business and buys something, whether they're brand new or they've been there for years, the average size the average amount of money they pay you when they buy something is is right is a certain number. It's a certain number. It always is. So if you can increase the size of that number, you grow your business. Obviously, you get new clients, that's more business. You grow a business, right? But the second way is to have larger transactions. So say your average purchase from a, a client is $20. Well, if you can raise that average purchase to $30, well, you just grew your business. And there's a bunch of different ways you can do that. But just to simplify it down, number one, get more clients, more new clients, and get the clients you have to buy in larger transactions. So buy in bigger monetary amounts. So those are the first two ways. The third way is to increase the frequency of transaction, frequency. So that means increase the number of times a client buys from you in a given period, let's say a year. Say your average client buys from you twice a year. Well, if you can get them to buy from you three times a year, you just grew your business. You didn't have to go get new clients, you didn't have to increase the transaction size, you just got your clients to buy one more time a year. And you do this by adding value more service, really more value, giving, giving them more reasons to buy more things that, that, that they see as benefiting their lives more. So say you got 100 clients, the average transaction is 20 bucks, and they buy an average twice a year. So if you can get just, say, 110 clients that buy at $30 as an average transaction size and buy three times a year, well, you just grew your business three different times. You got 10% new clients, so you, your business went up 10% there. You raised your tra average transaction 33% from 20, excuse me, 50% from $20 to $30. So you raised your average transaction size 50% and they also, instead of buying from you twice a year, now they buy three. So you raised your frequency of transaction 50% also from two to three. Now, that may not sound like much. Maybe it does sound like a lot to you, because it is. It is. But maybe to most people, it, it doesn't sound like much. But if you really look at the mathematics of it, so let's say you had 100 people, 
$20 average purchase twice a year. So that is 100 people times $20. So that is $2,000. They buy twice a year, $4,000. That's your business. Now you have 110 clients, all right? And they buy $30. So 110 times 30, what is that? So 300, that's, that goes, so that's 330. So you went from, just from those two things, you went from about $200, excuse me, my math, let me think, well, 110 times 30, okay? Because you went from the average time to exercise, $20, $30. 110 times $30 is $3,300. So you went from, remember the other example, 100 people at $20 was $2,000. So 110 people at $30 is all of a sudden $3,300. I mean, you damn near doubled your business right there. Because you got 10 more clients, because you got 10% more clients and raise the transaction size 50%. Now let's do the frequency. So instead of buying twice, they buy three times. So uh, 110 times 30, so that's 3,300. That's pretty good. And now they buy three times. So now, what's that? $9,900. Just by getting 10% more clients, getting them to buy just a little bit higher, a little bit more, and one more time a year, you just more than doubled your business. That's how amazing that is. That's how amazing that is. And most, most business owners don't look at it that way. They usually, if, if they're even aware of any of these three, they're usually focusing on new clients. And the problem with that is, is if you're only focusing on new clients, that means you're not focusing on your current clients, which by the way, they've already bought from you. They are the most likely and enthusiastic people on the planet to buy more from you, right? As long as they've had a good experience with you, as long as they've enjoyed this relationship, as long as you've brought value to their lives, they'd be glad to buy more from you. You just got to give them a reason. A reason that makes sense for them, not, hey, I'd like you to buy more. Well, I don't care. I, that's stupid. I don't care. Uh, but if you say, hey, I have uh, another, pro I, I have a, say you got a promotion. Like, hey, if you buy this, I'll give you the other one half. I'll give you another one half off. Now, whatever that is. Say it's, um, oh, what could it be? Uh, I don't know. Let's say you sell. Uh, what, what, what could be like 20 bucks? Um, let's say you sell dog leashes, dog harnesses, all right? Or dog stuff. And you say, hey, you know what? If you buy this leash, it's 20 bucks. Uh, I'll give you another leash or this other thing for just for half off. For, I'll give you another leash for half off. So now you just raised their average transaction size to 30 bucks instead of 20. And if you have something like, say, uh, you have contact with them, like an email or, or, you, or you promote to them in some way, because email doesn't have to cost anything, you just send them an email with promotions or with uh, different offers or letting them know about new products. And you do little things like that, and that increases the frequency of transaction and the size of the transaction. And of course, new clients. Well, there's a lot of different ways to do that. The first way I would go is to work on a referral system with your current clients and, 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 and ask for referrals in ways that make sense to them, not just, hey, please refer people to me. No. I'm going to end the video, though, because I just want to share those three things with you. You know me. I kind of go on tangents, and I just want to really paint a picture. But if you just focus on those three things in building a business or growing a business, getting more clients, of course, I'm sure you knew that one, but paying even more attention to your current clients by and and give them opportunities to increase their average transaction size and their average frequency of transaction peace out love you have a good day